hearty welcome to the channel. Today, we are about to learn how to choose a topic for academic project or research work. Now, this particular video will be helpful for the undergraduate students, postgraduate students who are doing the academic projects in their final years or pre-semesters, and for the PhD scholars, that is for the research students who are yet to choose the research topic. Now, let us see what are the topics or things we have to take care of. Very first, we should be able to find the area of interest in our research work. In this concept, we should be able to find the research gap based on known and unknown attributes. Mean, we should be able to understand what are the concepts that have been explored earlier or what are that are unexplored in our research area and we should make it a narrower one. And also we should look for the meaningful aspects, like what are the things we can learn from it? How can we make sure that the broad research topics that are available today can be narrowed down to a particular research area? After satisfying this condition, let us move to the second point, which is very important. That is sources of research, means background. Now, very first of all, we go along with the experiences like academic or real, real time experiences like life experiences, whatever we see when we have chosen the area of research. And at the same time, we'll go with the advantages and limitations, means we have to check for what are the challenges we are about to face in this particular area of research. At the same time, we must carry out the consultations with the people who are well versed in that area. And after listening to various words from the or around the people, we should have our own intuition such that we can narrow our work. After that, we have to go for the main thing which is mentioned at the end that is literature review or literature survey which will help us to find out what are the works that have been carried out earlier and what are the things that have to be carried in the near future after once we have done this background work and the last but the but not the least we should go for the selection criteria it means we have to finalize our particular topic of in, topic in our academic project or research project. Here it involves various internal and uh, external parameters. It depends. Now, what are these parameters? Now here they are nothing but very first one comes here, novelty, means the topic which we have chosen is a contemporary one or an old topic. Because in the modern days we should be well versed with the updates and we should choose a topic which is very much surviving in the market at present next after choosing the novel thing we should see that what is the need and importance of this particular concept in application wise or mathematical model wise what is its significance we should learn about it in this particular word. Now, after going from here, we should check for what are the facilities available with us or what are the facilities we have to gain for doing this or carrying out this research work. At the same time, what are our feasibilities available for us to carry out this research work without any interruptions in the near future? And after all these aspects, and we have to go for the last but not the least topic that is supervisor guidance. We will be having a supervisor in all the aspects like it will be UG or PG or PhD research work. We should listen to whatever the supervisor will tell us, but we should convince the research supervisor and see that the supervisor is very well understandable to us. This is the last parameter. 
after this you can go for the selecting the final area that is final topic of your interest please follow this video and do not forget to subscribe our channel